Hello. I pray that you are well today. We continue in the book of Exodus, chapter 21. It's significant to note that the Ten Commandments in chapter 20 are God's moral law. They function in regardless of time, place, reality, that God's moral law, how we relate to God and to one another. In Exodus chapter 21, we begin with some language that we typically call God's civil law. In a society, how does it work? Here's an example. Exodus 21 verse 1, these are the laws you are to set before them. If you buy a Hebrew servant, he's to serve you for six years, but in the seventh year, he shall go free without paying anything. If he comes alone, he's to go free alone. But if he has a wife when she comes, he, she is to go with him. If his master gives him a wife and she bears him sons or daughter, the woman and her children shall belong to her master and only the man shall go free. But if the servant declares, I love my master and my wife and my children and do not want to go free, then this master must take him before the judges. She shall take him to the door and the doorpost and pierce his ear with an awl, and then he will be his servant for life. This is civil law. This is how they deal with each other. Here's an example. Anyone who strikes a person with a fatal blow is to be put to death, verse 12. However, if it's not done intentionally, but God lets it happen, they are to flee to a place I will designate. But anyone schemes and kills someone deliberately, that person will be taken from my altar and put to death. He goes on with lists of civil laws, what we might consider to be criminal laws today, how we function with one another. The example, if people quarrel, one person hits another with a stone or with their fist, and the victim does not die but is confined to a bed, the one who has struck the blow will not be held liable if the other can get up and walk around outside without a staff. However, the guilty party must pay the injured for any loss of time and see that the victim is completely healed. Here's a good example. If a bull gores a man or woman to death, that bull is to be stoned to death and the meat must not be eaten. But if the owner of the bull will not be held responsible, if however the bull has a habit of goring and the owner has been warned but has not kept it penned up and kills a man or woman, this bull is to be stoned and its owner is also to be put to death. However, if payment is demanded, the owner may redeem his life by payment of whatever is demanded. If anyone uncovers a pit or digs one and falls in, an ox or donkey falls into it, the one who opened the pit must pay the owner for the loss and take the dead animal in exchange. You see, if you looked at Exodus chapter 21 and 22 and 23, you have statements of how do we get along with each other? If my car hits your car currently, you know, I have insurance. I pay insurance so that you'll be okay. If, if the issue of how we deal with each other in civil law, so he is setting up a society. How we treat each other matters. And how we do it fairly and rightly matters. Moral law, the Ten Commandments, transcend time. Civil law are how does the society function? How does it work? How is it fair? Consider this for a moment. Most people evaluate life on the basis of how they're treated. Are things fair? Sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. Sometimes they feel fair and sometimes they don't feel fair. But you and I, as Christians, ought to deal with each other fairly. We ought to deal with each other honestly. We ought to deal with each other in a way that pleases God. It's what he's setting up for the children of Israel in their society over and against one another. Please pray with me. Lord God, may we treat each other in the way you want us to treat. May we deal with each other fairly. This we ask in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you today.